Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitch video. Now in today's video guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to get that very, very valuable Pugnium in order to get the Contraband. It's a very juicy one guys, so you're not going to want to miss this. But before we do start guys, why not consider hitting that like button, leave me a comment if this glitch is working for you, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here. Alright, let's get into today's video. Alright guys, so the very first thing we need to do is be in a space station. Now preferably, it needs to be in a space station that you haven't already been to because we need to get navigational data to get this very, very first part of the glitch working. Now, in my case, I didn't have any, which is why I'm showing you how to get it. So there we go guys, we've got one from the table. Sometimes you run into the back rooms, you can get lucky, you can get one or two of them. But in my case, it was only just one that I found. Now we need to take it over to this chap. So once you've gone ahead and got yourself one of those navigational datas, you need to come over to the cartographer. Again, you can find him in the space station. We're going to go to exchange maps, and then it's the very top one, the very first one. So we need to get a secure site of interest because we need to find sentinels, and this is the best, quickest, and easiest way in order to do that. So once you get your map, guys, jump in your ship and fly out of the space station. Once you're out the space station, guys, and in space, go into your exosuit and activate that map that you have just bought. So what you'll end up doing is you'll find a manufacturing facility, which is perfect because it is guarded by sentinels. And again, guys, we need to get sentinels in order to get the Pungnium, or however you say it, it's such a weird one to say. But you know what I'm talking about. We need to kill some sentinels. So I'll meet you on the planet. All right, guys. So once you reach your destination, we need to go ahead now and kill the Guardian Sentinels because look at that, guys. We're getting 17 each time we kill those Sentinels and that we can use later on to do a slight duplication glitch in order to make ourselves filthy rich in said material so we can go ahead and buy completely and utterly insane amounts of contraband. So I'm going to keep on doing this just until I get just enough to duplicate. So, once you've had your fun with the Sentinels, guys, jump in your ship and fly off into space as I'm doing right now. And we need to call in the Anomaly. Once you call the Anomaly, go ahead and land. Oh, guys, you know what? It's so good to be back. Now, don't get me wrong, I still don't have internet, but I'm tearing my phone up just for this video. So, guys, honestly, if you can appreciate the effort, leave me a like on this video. And if you're not subscribed already, like I said, make sure you are subscribed. Because, as you can see... I'm all over the place. The lag is insane. But all I did there is when I jumped out, sometimes what can happen is the game starts to jitter, jump in and out of your ship, and it should, it should fix the problem. All right, so what we're going to do now is take the item that we just got from the Sentinels, and we're going to do the Person Refinery duplication glitch. So we put an item in the Person Refinery, jump in and out of our ship, then we take the item back out. Don't worry about it, guys. If you get a save point message, the glitch is still working, so just carry on as normal. So obviously, all we need to do now, guys, is take the item back out of the personal refiner, and then we're going to transfer over an item. Now, just be careful, guys. We can't just literally drag it into the personal refiner because this item actually refines into nanites. So this is also a really great way if you want to get some quick nanites as well. But we need to go into our personal refiner itself, and then from that menu, put in the Pugnium, okay? We need to do it that way. We can't just drag it in. So what we're going to do is just very, very quickly, as you can see, every time you duplicate this, we're just going to go ahead, put the item back out that we've just duplicated. That then doubles it up every time, if that makes sense. So all we're doing, guys, is every single run, we are doubling what we have got. And trust me, it mounts up super, super, super quickly. So I'm just giving out some items for quickness here. Always try and give good items if you do have it. If not, guys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I'm going to continue doing this, guys, until I get a massive stash. And then I'll show you what to do. All right, guys. So like I said, it really didn't take a lot of time at all. Probably about 5-10 minutes of my time. And here we go. Look at all of this that I've got now. And just remember, once you get a full stack of 9,999, you can continuously get that each and every run. It just takes a while just to build up that all. All right, so we have two options from here. You can either jump into your spaceship and fly off into space and go to a space station, 
or in my case, what I like to do is use the massive teleporter in the back of the anomaly and then just go to a random space station that you've already been to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, go through this teleporter and just jump to the space station that's currently in this system. All right, guys. And here we go. That's all of my hard work and effort. I say hard work and effort. Like I said, it took me like literally five minutes for this. But nonetheless, we're going to go to purchase some of this stuff and look at all of these different things. I mean, we've got goods, technology, weaponry. Now, each and every space station that you go to will have different contraband. Remember that. So I'm just going to go ahead, guys, and buy absolutely everything that this one has just for today's video. And just remember, every time I glitch on a video, I will be giving out going forward everything that I glitch and everything that I duplicate. So in my case, all of these items will be going back to the No Man's Sky community once I'm done with today's video. So there we go, guys. I mean, look at that. I've just completely cleared out that shop. And all I'm going to do now is fly back into the anomaly and give out the goodies. But you know what, guys? It's one of those where this is such a new thing that this glitch will be updated on my channel once I find an even better and easier way. But for now, this method works absolutely flawlessly. It really doesn't take too much time at all to get set up. And you can go ahead and buy everything from every shop. Like I said, Ireland did just a few 9,999 of these pug needles. But I mean, if you did an entire inventory of that, let's say, you could literally go from space station to space station and clear out everything. It's literally that easy. All right, guys. So as promised, let's go and give some random players what we have just duplicated here today and what we have just bought. Cannot wait. I'm going to just enjoy giving this out. And again, guys, if you have anything extra spur, give it out to people who will not expect it and make the day. Why not? So let's see who's around here. So, okay, so we've got a few people around the middle section of the Nexus here. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Honestly, I love doing this because at the end of the day, especially what's going on world right now, a little bit of cheer just by giving somebody a random item that they can use. It can brighten up someone's day, especially when they're not expecting it as well. It's the gift that keeps on giving, in my opinion. But, you know, some of them couldn't get those items because their inventory is full. However, there are so more people up here that we can give items to. Uh, only one there. Ooh, we could have to go to the back here. We're going to have to go to the back. It's very, very rare this happens because normally people have plenty of inventory space. But today is not my lucky day, but it is other people's lucky day. So here we go. Last two items here. Fantastic. There we go. Everything is gone. Now, guys, again, thank you all very, very, very much for watching. And thank you all for sticking with me whilst I'm making this transition through from, obviously, not uploading videos because I've been moving home. And I'm still waiting for my internet. Again, it should be updated on Tuesday. But again, guys, if you like the effort, because I'm using my, my phone's internet here, it's not very good. I'm lagging all over the place. Again, if you like the dedication, leave me a like and a subscribe on this video as well. That would be absolutely amazing. Also, don't forget to comment as well if you have any questions. All right, guys. So as always, I want to thank my wonderful patrons for today's video. I would like to thank... Richard Borgia, the Dreads Guy, Captain Z1420, Jilly Dad, Don Megan1976, Westland, Alan, Rene, and guys, I want to thank my wonderful, wonderful superfans as always. So I would like to thank Superfan Steve, Superfan Jerry, Superfan John, Superfan Brian, and I want to also thank our wonderful YouTube members, Kelmy, Fiscal Bay Pelican, and Astro AJ for becoming part of the ever growing YouTube membership family. Now, also, guys, if you, the viewer, are watching this here at home and you like what I do, Honestly, it would mean the absolute world to me if you could support this channel over on Patreon by clicking the link in the video description down below. We're an ever-growing family, so I'd like to see you over there as well if you enjoy what I do. All right, guys. Well, that's everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.